Hello, fellow lovers of wisdom and warriors against consensus reality and all the programming bullshit they try to feed us. Yeah, sorry, I've been out of the loop for a little while. I had a um, rather nasty spill of um, hay fever, which uh, knocked me out for a couple of weeks. And um, coughing and spluttering on video is never fun. I uh, wanted to um, thank a couple of people before we go further. Um, my fellow islanders, uh, Chewy, Cave Creature, and um, a gentleman whose content I really, really enjoy is one of the last um, honest MGTOW content producers, MGTOW Matty. Nice work, brother. And uh, another gentleman who has focused on releasing helpful, uh, empowering, positive videos for um, our fellow men, Chris Cantu. Nice work, Chris. I noticed a trend in the world today. It's, um, it's sort of annoyed me and amused me. Where um, pretense seems to be the name of the game. And you see it everywhere. You talk to people in all aspects of your everyday life. And there's pretense. <coughs> and in this day and age, where people hide behind their job titles or how much money they make or what kind of house they have or what kind of car they drive, um, honesty and integrity and being real are sort of left to trail in the dust. Which I find most um, unfortunate because I think there's enough fuckery in the world as it is. But what do I know? Just one voice. And you, know, it's quite simply, and I, I think you know by now what I'm going to say next. Uh, it's proof positive that ego mind is in charge. And it's easy to do. It is, uh, as I said in a comment um, on a live stream yesterday, it's the comfort zone. And the comfort zone really is difficult to leave because it's familiar and safe in a certain way. Safe to the ego mind. Because it's the ego mind part of us which is deathly afraid of change. Whereas if you follow just a little bit of good old-fashioned Buddhist... Um, philosophy <clears throat> change is part of life change is life and if you have a problem with change guess what you're going to be annoyed and pissed off a lot even around here all the yuppie assholes are moving in and uh, the nice quiet little <sighs> village suburb that I used to know is um, changing and filled with people walking around seemingly with poles up their backsides that's change. And of course, yeah, these, these above mental people are Sydney people. They tend to be that way. So you country people who are tempted to move to the city for um, better jobs, don't. In the words of Admiral Akbar, it's a trap. The only times I've been to Sydney is um, twice during the past six, seven years to see Iron Maiden. <laughs> I hate the place. I hate crowds. I hate pretentiousness. I hate artificiality. Give me a nice old, nice little country town like Berry any on a weekday, any day of the week. And you go to any social situation, you know, perhaps not people who are directly your friends, but friends of a friend. That's usually the most um, amusing. And they try to engage you in the same kind of consensus programming mindset. Hey, what do you do for a living? And they sort of the, the next two hours are spent talking about what various people do for a living. <laughs> or uh, my other favourite, um, for trying to find out if you actually own your own home, or if you're wait wait for the intense horror, someone who's renting. <laughs> and of course, the remaining two hours are spent talking about home improvement and all the various crap you buy at the local um, hardware store. And I would, I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather have my t um, my teeth pulled. I'd rather, no, 
I'd rather, much rather have Root Canal with no anaesthetic than listen to these morons. It's fuckery. It is. It's pure and simple fuckery. I have a friend. He is, um, oh, I've known the guy for a good 14 years. And he is a drug addict. And yet, with this gentleman, I can actually, yes, and he's got a finger missing, and he sort of, he's my age, but he looks 15, 20 years older. But with this gentleman, I can actually talk about quantum physics and esoteric topics and all the rest of it, the illusory nature of, um, of reality and the, the, the true nature of the matrix and all the rest of those, those things. And uh, I never, ever have to dumb any of my um, vocabulary down. And this gentleman is usually hounded by the local police and uh, they usually stop him to ask for ID and so forth. And, of course, when you're a drug addict, you usually get the, um, you're fidgety to begin with and your nerves are a little bit jittery and add intense paranoia to it and you get the idea. But he's still my friend. And um, to see, especially when I'm on my days off in my um, scary pagan metal clothing and five-week growth and... Uh, to look at us, people walking past, they would have no idea the topics of conversations that we're enjoying. Because people judge. Based on fuckery. Based on falseness. Right? And even in the, in the um, manosphere, this is, this is my pet peeve, uh, people who pretend to be MGTOW so they can actually uh, make money. Um, well, that's fuckery... At, the, at one of the highest levels. Um, no, you're not MGTOW. Stop pretending to be MGTOW so you can make money through your quote-unquote career. Be real. Be who and what you are. That No pretense is necessary because there's an in-mass media in all the information we're fed through the news and social media and all the, the, the various programming tools that are used there's enough fuckery and falseness out there. And I think it would be quite refreshing and more useful to oneself to be more authentic and real and keeping it real. Then you just be yes and your no be no. Very important. I can't stress that enough. And you're actually honoring yourself. And by doing so, you're showing that you actually do like yourself by being honest with yourself very important and then of course it leads to other things that are it's all interconnected self-esteem and so all the rest of it and that's self-actualization and then you can start to create positive things in your life and if you're struggling with procrastination and whatever the momentum of the positive flow of energy from these activities flows into that and on and on and on I think that'll be another couple of videos. So be well. Don't let the fuckery get to you and be real. Lone Wolf on guitar. Out.